Check the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekends. Cats can't see me. So sit down. We back again. Make sure you like, subscribe, algorithm, algorithm, and all that good stuff. We got kids to feed, and I need these clicks. You're it? Anyways, I got Chef D the Monster in the building. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What brings you all the way to New York City, my guy? Um, I got booked for Fashion Week. Yes, I saw you there. Um, I had my, my management team. They put me in with Daniel. I already knew Daniel, too, but never walked for him, never walked for Fashion Week, so they put me with Daniel. Um, and she made it happen, and yeah, it was it was crazy. It was mm. fun. It was lit. I look good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> it was lit. Um, now your you say your your handle says Chef D. So I would uh, assume that you cook. Yes, I am a chef. Okay, now uh, I have my degree in culinary arts and everything. Yes. Why food? How did you get into that? Uh, the story is so crazy. Um, I'm the oldest of five. Uh, when I was young, my mom worked three jobs. Believe it or not to provide for uh, my family, and I had to cook. Mm. So I got these young kids who want to eat good food, so I'm in the house just testing stuff out, doing stuff, and it just turned into a passion. When did you decide you wanted to go to school for cooking? Because if you because if you were already cooking before you went to school, like, why did you feel you wanted to perfect your art at, at cooking? Um, I decided to go to college for culinary arts because, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and like I said, growing up cooking for my uh, my siblings and all that, and then also being in high school, I was in uh, culinary arts, home economics. That was like we had majors, so that was my major from mm -hmm. freshman year to senior year for four years. I was in culinary arts class, so um, my teacher had offered me an assistant culinary teaching position if I wouldn't get my degree in culinary. So I'm like, hey, I had a job right when I'm out of high school, so let's do it, and I just did it. I started to cook when I was on my own because I thought girls would like that I cooked, but it wasn't good. <laughs> so I had to Girls stop. do like guys who can cook too. But it's got to be good. They got to like what you cook because if they don't like it, they're not going to call you back. That's true. <laughs> That's true too. <laughs> I tried though. Shit. At least you can say you did it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people want to do, do shit and they don't do it and they can't say they did it. Yes. So you can say you did it. Yes. So now, are you, you're an entrepreneur. You got different businesses and restaurants? I do, I do, I do. So I have two food trucks in Cali, Monster Ooh. Meals by Chef D. Okay. Uh, I have one food truck op opening up next month in Houston. Okay. And I have a lounge that I'm partnering with uh, a guy. His name is Exotic Hookah. We have a lounge together in Houston. It's what is opening next month in Houston. When you gonna bring that shit to New York, though, God? <laughs> it's coming soon, my guy. It's coming <laughs> this year. It's coming. Seriously, seriously, it's coming. Okay. You had to put it out first here, but <laughs> I, we got one. We got one. <laughs> it's it's coming. New York is the next spot. I was going to do D.C., but I'm going to do Midtown, New York. Ooh, listen. When you do the grand opening, I want to be there. Of course, you got to be there. I want to. I want to do a that's little gonna, food tasting. I want to be there. Gonna, that's going to happen regardless. Like you know, you, okay. you you like family now. So now I know there's a lot of things going on around you that you don't want. That you don't care to speak of. Correct? It's a lot going on, going on around me. But what, what's up? Let's talk about it. I mean, uh, <laughs> let's get into let's get into some things. Let's talk about it. Because you're relatively lit out here, and there's these ne these these networks and stuff. They've got shows. And I mean, I've seen pictures of you in certain places. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you care to confirm or not? Nah? Confirm what? Look, me, I, I am, I'm the executive chef for Zeus Network. I've been doing oh, all their food. Oh, Zeus! What a coincidence! <laughs> and I'm also the, <laughs> the chef over at um, on Bravo, the network. Oh, but, that's another coincidence. Uh, huh? Beverly House, uh, House, Beverly Hills Housewives. I cook for them, and then I cook for Zeus Network. Me and my team. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to just ask. You on the bad boys or what, God? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what was the question? There's a TV show. Uh-huh. I, I believe it's... Is it the Bad Boys Club, Cha-Cha? It's Bad Boys Club. Is it a Bad Boys Club? Uh, someone told me you might have been on this season coming up. No, I mean, I had a cameo on the season last year for season one. Because I was a chef. I had a cameo, me and my team. Uh, but as far as season two, I don't, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I don't, Are you I don't, telling me you don't know because you don't know, or you don't know because you don't want to tell me? 
I don't know, cause this contract's in the NDA. <laughs> heard you, heard you. That's it, that's it. If I find him on the Bad Boys Club, that's the clip that's gonna drop. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know because this contract is stuff in place. I don't know. Okay. We gonna see. Listen, you confirmed all I needed. It's cool. Thank you, D. Appreciate you. Um, and what else is going on in your life, my guy? Um, I mean, besides me, besides me uh, working with Zeus, and besides me being a celebrity chef. Um, I just got two new clients. Uh, shout out to Mary J. Blige. She's oh, one of my new clients. Say word. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Shout out to Mary. Shout out to Mary. The other client, I cannot say. Uh, due to contracts in NDA. I cannot okay. say. They're very, very private. Mary is too, but she know what I'm doing and what I'm trying to get to. So she understands me a little bit better and my line of work, if gotcha. that makes sense. Gotcha. And, and with me trying to do more than just being a chef, like, you know, me stepping into the whole thing, even possibly, like, you know, modeling again, you know, being the entrepreneur, and just seeing what's out here for me, honestly. Right. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, like I said, I got the food truck opening up up in Houston next month. Got the lounge opening up up in Houston next month as well. Got some projects I'm working on. I want to be filming with or whatever, so... I'm, I'm excited. It's, it's my time. It's my I, season. I, I, no, listen, I didn't, I didn't know you before this, but did you feel like the glow is here. Like, it's here. Like, I feel <laughs> like like I, I came in so late today because I was on the phone hustling. I closed a couple of deals today. Like, man, it's here. I love your energy. Thank you for coming by. Yo, thank you. Thank you guys for having me, man. Um, Listen, when you open the one in, 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 in New York, I need to be there. Of course. And when the bad boys thing drop... Come back around, we'll talk about it again, guys. Man, I don't know what you're talking no, about. I, but, I think I thought I was going to catch you. I thought I was going to catch you. I thought you were going to catch I don't know what you're talking about, but, but we'll talk, man. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. Yo, this is a good one. Let me know how to follow you on the gram, G. Hey, my Instagram is Chef D Monster with two R's at the end of Monster. The same for my Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me, brother. And Appreciate I'll be back you. soon. You so. Yeah. <laughs> it's the sit down and we out of here. Yeah, period. Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekends. Cats can't see me.